Loud car audio systems these days are usually comprised of multiple thousand watt amplifiers, multiple large subwoofers. But what about back in the day? That's right, you've all heard these stories of these old school amps such as the Rockford Fosgate Punch 30 HD. Well, we're going to try it out today, my friends, and find out can it power four 12 inch subs? Let's see. Back in the 80s and 90s, car audio amplifiers cost multiple dollars per watt. Example here, Rockford Fosgate Punch 30, $180 back in 1991 was equivalent to about $420 2024. Now people will become accustomed to using these low power amplifiers in their systems. As shown here, the Punch 30, 15 watts by 2 at 4 ohms or 50 watts bridged at 4 ohms. 12 Mondo watts per channel of pure power. Rockford Fosgate had these displays in their dealers showing one amp driving 16 speakers. That's right, these little amplifiers, even in their owner's manual, was showing 16 speakers, eight five and a quarters, four tweeters, four 12 inch subwoofers, all with a passive crossover network. The manufacturers knew that most people were using smaller amplifiers, so they designed drivers that were more efficient with smaller magnets less moving mass and requiring larger boxes to get that efficiency. Now I tested the Power 100 HD by Rockford Fosgate in the past and kind of made a joke about it because it's literally two punch 30 HDs in a different heat sink. I was saying this amp was very un-Rockford Fosgate and the fact it wasn't really underrated. It's very low powered and I just didn't think they sold a whole lot of them. But I got some feedback from, from some former Rockford Fosgate employees saying these amps really sold well and they were able to power full systems. Heck, they even hit them with hammers when they came off of the assembly line. This is not a Mickey Mouse program! In an even older video, I showed the Rock for Fosgate Punch 30 on my amp dyno not long after I got it, and you could see the amp only did about 50 watts here at 12 volts. That's bridged at 4 ohms. So that's literally what it's rated, but man, so little power to run a full system. Now, around 1991, Rock for Fosgate introduced the HD series or hybrid design. So I decided to pull out a Punch 30 HD and let's take a closer look at it. And then we're going to talk more about what we're going to do. Very simple here on one side, we have the low level inputs via RCA jacks. Over to the left a little bit, we have the input gain. They're separate gains for left and right. We also have a power LED, which is red in color. Then we have the speaker terminal here, speaker output, which is a four pin jack. And I'll also show the Molex plug here that plugs into it. It reminds me of a computer ATX power adapter that I'm sure many of you have seen if you've built computers in the past. I do have it here on a factory harness with a four position terminal block. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you wanna pick one of those up if you have one of these old amps. Here on the other side of the amp, very simple, just one power input has a remote 12 volt and ground via this removable connector. You might have seen these on some of the newer amps. They're really small, only except about 14 gauge wire. And here is a graphic if you have one of these and want to know how they work. Now, as far as dimensions go, seven inches by six inches by 1.6 inches. Now, based on the claim that this Punch 30 can power 12 inch subwoofers, four of them, I decided to pull out the quad box by Kicker I've shown this before, it has four L7R12s in a ported enclosure. This is something you can buy straight off of the Kicker website. But something that many of you may not even know is the sensitivity of this box. 98 dB, which is equivalent to like some of the old Serwin Vega subwoofers everybody loves because you could power them with a very small amp. So let's take this Punch 30 HD, take our 2001 Sequoia, and let's slap this stuff in here and find out what we can do. Now the quad box is a dual two ohm enclosure. It has two different terminals, which I'll show here. So what I decided to do is I could have wired it in stereo to the amp, which would have been two ohms per channel. But in order to simplify it, I wired it in series. So that gives you a four ohm load, which I sent to the amp and I bridged the amp at four ohms or right around 3.7. And that way we can power these like subwoofers like people did back in the day and find out how it does. 
Now we'll do the sweep here on the SSA meter to find out what our resonant frequency of the vehicle, 48 hertz is where we got the loudest dB. So we're gonna be using 48 hertz tone for all of our tests coming up. Now I thought it was interesting because when I posted this on Facebook and on YouTube and let people leave comments about what their guesses were for SPL, a lot of people were really curious. Can this old 35 year old amp that's only 30 watts power four 12 inch subs? So let people take guesses to see how much SPL we can get. And we had guesses from 95 dB up to over 150 dB. So maybe somebody got it exactly right. Hold on to your hats, let's find out. Here we have the Rockford Fosgate Punch 30. That's right, 30 watt amplifier. We have the SSA meter down here in the kick panel. And again, those who ask about the app, you have to have the meter and the app, not just the app. You can't go cheap, you gotta have the meter. That's what measures the DB and this is just what displays it. So let's try it here and see what kind of DBs we can get. Can we get 130? I don't know, let's find out. Step into the lab, sound pumping real loud. Pull us to the crew test and making the street crowd. Here goes, test one. All right, 114.86. Let's crank up the volume and try it again. Step into the lab, sound pumping real loud. Will a city crew test and making the street crowd. That's number two with a 30 watt amp and the 412s. Here we go. All right, you can completely consider me shocked that we were able to get 130 almost 131 db with a punch 30 amplifier on four 12s um i almost cannot believe this but maybe we have a little bit more volume we'll find out let's try it again step into the lab sound pumping real loud will a city crew test and making the street crowd all right, four twelves on the punch thirty. Here we go. No way. Can you see it, my friends? One thirty-one point twenty-eight at forty-eight hertz with a freaking fracking thirty-watt amp on four twelves. Old school for the win. Just for kicks, I gave it a couple more ticks here on the volume. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. Here we go. Yeah, you know it's true. <laughs> 131.49. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm officially shocked, honestly shocked. I should mention that that was with all the windows up, sealed up completely, and we got a 131.49, 131 and a half with a head unit powered amplifier. It's literally 15 watts by two or 50 watts bridged at four ohms, and we have the subs bridged at four ohms. I'm just it's in shock, completely in shock. Step into the lab, sound pumping real loud. Will a city crew test and making the street crowd. I have my driver's window down. Let's try it. Man, they witnessed in history, lucky mother lover. You see it. There's no lies here. There's the meter. 133 dB the 412s and the quad box and the punch 30 amplifier here it's the only amp i have running the amp that's built into the car is powering the rear door speakers but that's not helping any but yo <laughs> 133 lord have mercy so I didn't show it up to this point, but also I used the AMM1 to find out how much power I was getting during these tests. 
So I'm going to show a couple of different examples here. Notice I was rising to somewhere between 7 and 11 ohms, getting between 30 and 38 watts, which is not much power. So I decided let's hook up, listen to some music, also measure the SPL and the power output. Let's see. All right, I have a cool uh, bass heavy Christmas song here loaded up that's from the YouTube audio library called Hip Hop Christmas. And I'm going to try it here. Again, punch 30 on 412s. And we'll try to keep up with the power output as well as the SPL output. Hopefully I can keep the glare off here for you. Let's see what we get. So you know me, I can't really show an amplifier in a video without using the amp dyno. So for today, we're going to run it at 4 ohms mono because that's what we were really running it with on the quad box. Find out how much power we're getting out. Did we do any more than the previous punch 30? Certified test here, 40 hertz. You can see at 14.24 volts, we get 56 watts. So no, it doesn't do a whole lot more power than the old one that I showed. Let's try it uncertified up to the clipping point. Again, we're using the 40 hertz track here. And yeah, we did get a little bit more power here, 63 watts at 14.24. And then finally here, we'll reset the dyno for the dynamic track, which should simulate music, kick drums, should simulate that a little bit more power. And it does just give us a little bit more, 68 watts at 14.22. Now, if you want to see all the dyno tests for this amp, check patreon.com slash old school stereo support me if you can. Also, you get early access to my videos. Now, let's take off the four Allen screws here, 3 seconds inch, and that way we can get this bottom plate off of the Punch 30 HD so we can take a look and see what makes this thing tick. So here we go. Boom! <laughs> Miniature amplifier for the win. Here's the amp and the bottom plate. We'll do a fly over here of the amplifier so you can see the guts, see the transistors there squished up against one end, we have some driver modules, we also have some capacitors, and we do have a power transformer there in the middle, some chokes, etc. 1000 microfarad, 16 volts here on the power supply. And you can see there's some test leads there at the top. That's how they plug these in at the factory, and they could do the testing there. But yeah, pretty cool overall. What do you guys think? Is the real winner here the Punch 30 HD? Or is it the kicker quad box with that high efficiency that can put out some nice loudness with a low power amplifier? Made me think we need to try some other amps on this quad box and see what we can get. Maybe the Punch 45, the Punch 150. If you have any other suggestions, let me know below. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Big D, I'm out of here.
Step into the lab, sound pumping real loud. Will a city crew testing, making the street crowd. Amplifies blazing bass, hitting like a cloud. Subwoofers making rumble, shake up the whole crowd. Old school vibe with the twist of the new. Hands on the dials, push your power through. Feel the bass, let it hit your soul. Tested amps with the perfect control. Willison's magic audio.